All right. Hello, traders. Welcome out to the Market Watch Group, placing your first trade video series. This is the last one. You made it. Congratulations. You made it to part six after the trade. We're not done when we trade. We've got to go learn from our trade. We've got to go keep records and make sure that we've created an archive that gives us the ability to stand on our own experience in order to become better traders. My name is Scott Beck. I'm the head trading coach here at the Market Watch Group. I will be your host as we finish this. I'm very excited that you've stuck with me all the way through. Let's go ahead and dive into it. First and foremost, as always, I need to remind you, we are not advisors, we're not brokers, we don't give guidance, we don't give recommendations. This is all about education and illustrative concepts, working collaboratively collaboratively as a group to the, become the best traders that we can. Let's look at today's agenda. First and foremost, we want you to be comfortable analyzing the trade outcome and execution it's not just like did i make money or not yeah that's that's useful but did it did i follow my rules did i stick to the process did i deviate that's almost even more important but we want to make sure that we're putting mechanisms in place to evaluate this and keep archives and records you want to document the details of the trade and the performance on your trade log whether you're using the stock log or if you're starting with options use the option log doesn't matter which you've got to get record keeping in place remember successful traders do what failing traders don't want to a lot of people don't want to keep records there's a lot of information that you're going to learn about yourself and your process by doing post trade analysis but we want to use it to assess and adjust our strategy does our entry need to be sooner do i need to wait for more confirmation do i need to push it longer get out sooner a lot of different ways that we can go that's going to help us to refine our strategies um, obviously we want to continue paper trading in order to gain confidence. We're going to talk about how to do that. Now that you've gotten one trade under your belt, now we get another, get 10, get 25, then have a methodical, well-planned, well-rehearsed process to transition from paper trading into live trading. Very, very helpful. Make sure you're developing a trading routine. Section five in your trading plan is all about the routines. What do we do in the morning? Afternoon, night, weekends. Trading is about doing it over and over and over, always the right way. Don't get bored doing the right things. You want to repeat your successful strategies, refine your techniques. We're going to talk about how you can accomplish that. Let's get into that now. Okay, and you can see as we jump into the meat of this last video after the trade, we are going straight into the trade log. Because what we need to do now is analyze our trade outcomes. We need to document the details. We need to make sure that we process anything important that might help us learn from the trade. Now, I have two entries here. I actually have two different ways this trade could have gone. We can see we have a $182 entry, 25 shares. Now, the first one was if it gets to exit number one, $192, we would sell five shares. You can see that that would make us $50 per share. Then if it got to exit two, we would sell 20 more shares. That's another 360 for a total of $410. If you remember, I said that we would sacrifice $40 in profit by selling five shares at the take profit release pressure release level. Now, if things go wrong and everything stopped out, we buy 25 shares at 182. A couple of days later, it drops to 176. We stop out. We contain our loss at 150. Now, what kind of a reward to risk ratio would that be? 2.73 to 1. And if we can maintain 50-50, we would have a very profitable expectancy. And you might be thinking, Scott, I don't know what expectancy is. Well, that's okay. You will. As you use the trade log and you start to build your experience and your record-keeping narrative, 
It's going to help give you this data. That's what's going to be important for you. Now, we also talk about using a trade journal. That's my trade journal comments. If there's anything about this trade that might be something you want to remember three months from now, four months from now, because it might be three or four months from now that you look backwards at this period of time right now and say, hey, this period of time was great. I want to make sure I'm learning from all the things that I did. Or you might say that period of time was really, really bad. And I want to make sure that I don't ever have that happen that way again. Regardless of which one of those it is, if we want to learn from it, we need to go back in time and we need to learn how to assess and then adjust our strategy going forward. So first and foremost, we use our trade journal for anything noteworthy. Right. Anything where we say, hey, you know what? I want to learn from my results. I want to make sure that next time I do this, I do it better. I do it better. That's very, very important to us. We want to make sure that we move forward and practice paper trading for confidence. Everything we did, if we did it right, we want to repeat it. If we didn't do it right, we want to say, hey, what part did I, can I do better? Did I not get my entry orders? Did I not get my managing orders? What can I do better? Remember that one of the things we're striving for is consistent improvement. Every trade, you should get better. Every single trade for your first 10, significantly better. For the next 15, even better still. Plenty of ability to improve on these first 10 to 25 trades that's going to help you to develop a trading routine. You're going to build that routine into your trading plan. You're going to have all elements of your routines defined in your trading plan. And then you're going to look to repeat your successful strategies and refine the techniques. This is everything, what we just did, right? You got your account set up. You got your platform, you got the paper trading, you set the paper trading to your regular, uh, to the account size it needs to be and you're ready to start trading. You have a list, you have alerts, you start taking trades just like the one we built and you're placing stops and targets and take profits and you're placing OCO orders and then you're logging the trade and you're doing it over and over and over and every trade you take, you get a little bit better. Now, the great news is, is that there's more learning to come. This is just scratching the surface. Now that we're getting started with stocks, what's next? We have the ability to move on to your first option trade. And I know for some of the people out there, you've already done yours. Some of you, you're looking forward to doing yours, but we're going to build on this. You can't trade options without first trading stock. Now you should have everything you need to build stock trades from start to finish, from the time you conceptualize the trade till the time you finish it and log it in your journal. Everything should be ready to go. If not, watch this six part video series again. Make sure you're coming to the first 45 minutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the Trading Foundations working sessions because we will be building lots of trades using this exact method this exact structure. I appreciate you guys coming. Okay. And now we've come to the end of this journey. This first six part stock journey. This is going to lead you directly into the options. First trade video series. That's a 10 part. There's a little bit more involved. It'll reiterate some of the concepts that we talked about here. But we're going to move on to the 10-part options video series. It's going to be very, very helpful. What should you do? Rewatch this once or twice to reemphasize some of the key concepts and strategies. Make sure you're doing it right. Don't assume that you've locked it down after one time through. Make sure you're utilizing the trade logs, that you're, you're identifying patterns and areas for improvement. Make sure that you practice paper trading over and over to build confidence, refine your approach. I still, 25 years later, I still paper trade.
Absolutely. Always willing to get some free experience. Lastly, make sure you set new trading goals and outline your plan for ongoing education, skill development. How are you going to participate with us? What classes are you going to attend? Um, what trades are you going to focus on? What alerts are you going to take? There's a lot for you. Make sure you're getting into Discord. You're in the beginner's corner, interacting with other new traders. You're asking questions. You're participating. There's a lot for you. Take advantage of what you have with that in mind. Thank you very much for participating with me uh, in this six part. I, I appreciate your commitment. I'm glad that you've gone through this with me. I hope you're going to move on now from this into placing your first option trade. That series will be coming soon, maybe a week or two away. Um, if you're listening to this early, otherwise, it's probably already there by the time you're listening to this now. It's great to have everybody. Um, make sure that you continue to take advantage of your resources, including the coaching staff. Um, and as always, happy trading. <laughs>